Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Tuesday, the 16th of January, 2018, ending Friday, the 19th. It's a short week because of the Martin Luther King holiday. Monday's market's closed. It is also options expiration week for January already. Third Friday in January is this Friday. So that's going to give us a shortened timetable to get through expiration. Start by going through the daily charts of the major indices, then we'll look at the intra-week action from last week, and then we'll look at uh, talk about what's coming. So here's the ES front month futures chart up last week again, of course. Uh, not much to say. It shook off a 13 sell signal. We have a new nine bar startup phase complete to the upside. We've been ignoring those for a while now, like they don't even matter. Let's go through the rest of the stuff. Crude oil at 6480, also up big. This is crude oil up uh, to almost its high point of well, to its high point of the year. And a while before that, even gold it was dead flat on Friday. So the S&P cash gapped up and then gained $18, 18 points overall. And DX also gapped up, gained 50. Actually, it didn't gap up. It actually gapped down a little bit on Friday and gained 50. People left for the long weekend. Volume was light, as you'll see in a minute. Socks was up seven. Got a cup and handle for me on the socks, but we're still operating under the risk line of the 13 sell signal that happened back in November. Biotechs up 23. Remember, there was a 13 buy signal on that back in uh, the beginning of December. The VIX up 28 cents to 10.16. The trend, another little reading at 0.68. Now take a look. The 10-day moving average of the trend is now 0.88. If I count back 10 days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After Tuesday's trade, a 1.5 number is going to drop off that trend. That's 10 days ago's number was that 1.5. So anything lower than that will take that 10-day moving average even lower. And remember, it's when the 10-day moving average gets under 0.85 that you have a sell signal on the broad market. We haven't had it for a while. Came close once or twice, but that would be uh, interesting if that came into play right now. Um, remember, we've had a few boring days here. There's kind of drifting action in the markets. NASDAQ volume was 1.9 billion shares on Friday. It was the lightest of the week, as I said. People leaving a little early because of the long weekend. We got advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was plus 385. On the New York was plus 301. Google gains $18.60, new closing highs in Google. Apple up a buck 81. That's finally new closing highs in Apple. Amazon up 28.52. Sure, why not? New closing highs in Amazon. Netflix up $3.99. You guessed it, new closing highs in Netflix. Tesla is down a buck 73. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF up 21 cents. Goldman Sachs up a buck 90. Doesn't mean much there. All right. Now. Let's take a look at the intra week action. Let's look at the 10 minute candles from what we did last week. Oops, that's a monthly chart. That's not going to get it done. 10 minute candles. And so keep in mind, I'm going to erase what we just did here Monday. So that's all of last week right there. So Monday flat, then drifted up over lunch, and then flat in the afternoon. Tuesday uh, gapped up a little bit, didn't quite make, did, uh, I think it, no, it didn't quite fill the gap. And it was pretty flat, closed about where it opened. Wednesday gapped down. Um, drifted up, almost filled the gap. Remember that filled the gap from the prior morning, closed about where it opened. So everything had been pretty boring up to that point. We were up about three points on the S&P for the week. Thursday got a gap up. Again, the action was strangely over lunch and then dead flat in the afternoon, nothing to do there. And then Friday, gap up and go with no one around. Interesting. Um, the NASDAQ side looks about the same. Again, take off what just happened here on Monday. All right, so in terms of the picture, again, Monday we were closed. This is, uh, we're about to start Tuesday here shortly. Um, here's a look at the economic data. So Tuesday we've got the Empire State Manufacturing Index, 10 a, or 8.30 an hour before the bell. Wednesday, Capacity Utilization Industrial Production, 9.15. NAHB Housing Market Index at 10. Beige Book at 2 p.m. Tick Long-Term Purchases at 4. Uh, Thursday we've got Housing Starts and Building Permits, Philly Fed, Unemployment Claims, Natty Gas, Crude Oil Inventories. Remember, they moved the crude oil number to Thursday because of the Monday holiday. And then Friday, we got the first look at Michigan sentiment for the month of January, first one for the year. But again, as I said, the other thing to remember here that's important is this is options expiration week. So we already have Monday dead. Tuesday, you know, you'd like to see things start to pick up, but you never know. First day back from a holiday. Wednesday is usually when you get the options unraveling move. If not Wednesday, then Thursday. We look for that after the first hour's play. We'll see what kind of options positions are open for this month. And then Friday should be dead because of the expiration itself. But we'll see. We'll play it every day like we usually do and go from there. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week, short week.